In this video, learn how to establish a serial connection to either the Intel Galileo or the Intel Edison using a Windows computer. If you just watched the Windows setup video, you should already have the appropriate serial cable connected and the serial drivers installed. Once connected to your Intel IoT board, you will have access to the Linux-based Yocto operating system running on the board. You can then execute special Linux commands such as configuring the board's Wi-Fi connection or flashing new firmware. Windows does not come with a built-in terminal emulator, so download the PuTTY client. On PuTTY.org, click on the PuTTY link to get to the downloads page. Under the four windows on Intel x86 heading, click on the PuTTY.exe link to download the latest release version. Once the download finishes, double-click the exe on your computer to launch the PuTTY client. To find the COM port number to establish a serial connection, use Device Manager. Scroll down to the COM and LPT ports section and make note of the COM number for the USB serial port item. Your computer will have unique COM port number assignments and you will likely get a different number than shown here. In this case, it is COM3. PuTTY will launch in the session screen. Select the serial radio button under connection type. For serial line, use the COM number noted previously. In this case, it was COM3. For speed, type 115200 for the baud rate. Finally, click Open to establish the serial connection to the board. When you see a blank screen, press the Enter key. For the Intel Edison, you will need to press the Enter key twice. Once connected, you will see a login prompt. Type in root for the username and press Enter. You are now logged into your IoT board and can run shell commands. For example, type cat slash etc slash version and press Enter. This will output the version number of the firmware running on your board. Now that you can connect to your Intel Edison or Intel Galileo over serial, watch the other videos to learn how to get your IoT board online or flash the latest Yocto firmware.